Jassy Vlogs. This is uh, Buried Stars. Please like and subscribe. Um, right. There is? Place where Hyesung's body was found. He lay sideways, waist crumpled. Alright, I didn't really need to read that. Um, anyway, uh, hold on one second. The place where Hyesung's body was found. He lay sideways, crumpled. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, I read that. I read that three times now. Jesus. Bad start to a video. Let's keep going. Do Yoon found a blood stain inside the storage area. Okay. Why was it crouching? Hold on one second. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Sorry, I was untangling my headphones, but I should have just left it. The two nodded and stood back for a moment. <coughs> <coughs> Can't stop coughing today. Blood stains on the inner wall of the storage area at about the height of Hyesung's head, assuming he was crouching at the time. Do Yoon looked at the crumpled body lying sideways. The three moved back slowly, trying not to bump into one another. <laughs> He checked Yesung's head where most of the wounds were concentrated. Oh, that hurts. Not really. Don't you shook his head and checked Yesung's head again. There was a long gash on the back of his head. It was at an angle, and there was still some blood on it. Struck by a stick. Very hard stick. A shallow but long cut has been found on the back of Hyesung's head. He might have been hit by a long staff. You have to deep breath. It was on the side of Hyesung's head. It was large, obviously the fatal blow. It appeared that Hyesung had been struck by a big, solid object. Anyone who did this would probably have blood all over them. That's why I think that maybe, considering Inha seems to be wearing the same clothes, or maybe there's multiple copies of the same outfit. Maybe she could go to the dressing room and, and, change into change into uh, change into an identical outfit but yeah I mean, it seems a bit far-fetched was there anything in the restroom that I mean there was definitely enough time to do it though it's crazy that nobody heard this was there was there anything in the restroom oh, of course it's weird oh, one that's severe no not a plunger then they couldn't come to a, a conclusion it was all just guesswork at this point. They moved back slowly. We should look around. We should look in the other rooms. There is a large, deep wound on the side of the head. He might have been hit by something hard. Yes, we're almost done here. The watch is... Got it. Yuhak tried several functions on the watch. 
You have finished checking the wash and handed it over. Though you can also check the functions such as messenger and fader. Jason's watch is intact and working. There are no signs of anything other than fader. After checking the body and the immediate area, they left the stall. Right. He was dragged. Was he dragged here? Wait, look that there's the there's the weapon right there. What do you mean? Why are they saying that there's, there's no weapon there? It's, it's that broom handle, right? Maybe that, that couldn't be the murder weapon. I mean, that is a long stick though, and it's broken. It's like as if it broke against its head. It's got blood all over it. Ji Young silently stared at the long blood stain. The long trail of blood stains from the center of the restroom to the storage area. Alright. Yep. They quietly shook their heads. Okay, this way or this way? Um, we can start with that. This way? The, this toilet stall is empty. There are no blood stains or any other clues. Alright, we'll move on. Blood trail starts from here. Okay, um... Let's say some floor first. Do things in order. The three of them stood at the center of the restroom. Yu Huck shook his head, covering his mouth. <laughs> There's a pool of blood at the center of the restroom. I think so too. You have to be really strong to be able to bash his head in with a mop shaft like that. I don't think Inna could do that. Though you bit his lip and just stood there. I mean, it's kind of almost a ridiculous idea. Like, I don't even think like the rock could like bash somebody's head in with a mop. I mean, it'd be like a really challenging weapon to use. A mop which was leaned against the wall is broken into pieces lying on the ground. Though you use sight stopped at the restroom pillar. I'm kind of proud of Ju, Ju, Ju Young that she's that she's here with us, like helping solve the mystery. Yeah, his head smashed against the wall. There's a lot of blood at roughly the height of an adult on the pillar, suggesting that something struck against it hard. She young wiped her eyes with her hand. Sailor and her came toward them. Oh, 
three looked at one another. They exchanged glances, wondering where to begin. So Yun took a step forward. The two scrambled to ask questions. The topics were the crime scene, the initial wound, and weapon. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay. The place where the incident initially happened. The pool of blood at the center of the retro. Um. It's also the toilet stall. There are no blood stains. Blood stain inside. There's a long trail of blood stains from the center of the restroom to the storage area, side of the head. Where it initially happened would be the set the where the blood pool is, the center of the restroom. There's a large deep wound on the side of the head. Okay, right. His injury. This is this is the this is the the most important injury, which cause of death, and the weapon used the mop. Apparently, seems crazy. You need to kill somebody with a mop. Would the pillar be the weapon? Like, probably his, his head was smashed into the, the side of his head was probably smashed against the pillar. But I, I still wouldn't call the pillar a weapon, right? Um, let's let's go with this for now. Hopefully, hopefully we got it. Got it. Mori Sanchago, Mandum Bulgon and Chetaso. Hadaga Nadin Guldon. Pegolet. So Pandunga Nango? Thirty minutes of Prozingo Kata. We got it. Yom Mori and I Sanchova, Chimion Sanos. Kuget Tom Tanan Chogia? Chixa, Hetan and Marsimisio? No. Kaysung received another wound on his head before the fatal injury. Oh, do I lose some sanity? They didn't say the initial wound, though. Uh. They didn't say the initial wound. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, um, cancel. They said the place where the incident initially happened, his injury. It didn't say, it didn't say. His initial injury, that's, that's what, that's what threw me. Ah, whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. There we go. 
화장실 중앙에서 처음 습격당한 것 같아 피의 양도 그렇고 피자국이 이어진 모양을 봐도 그래 처음 당한 무슨 How do you wind up in the restroom though? Seemed like, seemed like he, he was, he was confining himself to the dressing room. 깊은 상처는 아니었어. 길게 찢어진 모양이었고. 작대기 같은 걸로 맞은 것 같아. 무슨 대걸레 자루도 찾았고. 여기까지가 처음 일어난 상황 같아. 뒤통수면 아예 등을 돌리고 있었단 거네? 방심하고 맞을 만한 놈은 아니었을 텐데. Yeah. Jason first attack. Jason was attacked in the restroom. It seemed like a mop found at the scene was using the initial attack. 그럼 치명상은 뭐 출혈이 심했던 건지도. The issue was the fatal injury. 그쪽도 확인해 봤어. 치명상은 뭐였고 어떻게 입은 건지. 아까 조사한 걸로는. I got this. Okay. It's the blood stain pillar and the back of his head. The side of his head. Then when he, he was probably already dead and dragged into the toilet stall. But why? Then whoever, whoever did it would get blood all over them doing that. Semi-on-day-yop-kidong-mori-boda-chogum-najan-day-kuge-pojit-pitsa-gum-is-so-ah-muri-bado-kugon-pigat-chun-chabugun-an-yan-yogi-pudit-chigi-rado-hetang-go
혜성이가 있던 청수함칸 벽에 핏자국이 있었어 옮긴 다음에 벽에 기대어 놓았던 것 같아 발견했을 땐 누운 자세였잖아 중심을 잃으면서 It works. I wasn't so sure about that one. 범인은 해성이를 끌어다 청소함 칸에 두고 갔어. 해성이는 벽에 기대어져 있다가 쓰러졌고. Give me some sanity back, please. 숨기려고 그랬을까? 한동안 눈에 안 뜨게. 그런 생각이라기엔 어설픈 것 같다. 청소함 칸 문을 닫아둔 것도 아니었고. 다른 의도가 있었던 걸까? 그냥 당황해서 그런 걸지도 몰라요. The culprit seems to kill his son at the center of the restroom and moves his body to the stall for storing cleaning tools. 진짜 맥없이 당해버렸다고? 성격상 그랬을 리가 없는데 놓친 게 있는 건 아닐까요? He became unconscious almost immediately. They began to focus on the signs that he saw and couldn't resist. Kruse, we got past it. Then it was caught by surprise. But okay, we we know that um on his torso, there's no signs of a physical fight. Also, the watch is not damaged. It's Gyuk Lee could have killed him and then claimed that claimed that he that he um and then dragged him dragged him into, this, into the stall and then went back out right but it's also I, I i just think that it's weird that that uh i mean the, the main the main sign that that would be in how is also that that in the in that alternate universe s young young continued to post after you have to be died but also in her I would think that if Inha didn't find him, like her behavior was really suspicious. Because if she didn't find him in the room, she would just come back immediately. But then she was gone for like 15, 20 minutes, and uh, and then claimed that she that she found that he wasn't there. And then it's like, well, how do you account for your time at that point? You know? If you if you never saw him and you didn't speak to him, the only thing that made sense would be that she would be speaking to him during that time, which she probably was. She probably spoke to him. She probably uh, followed him into the bathroom and plunged his head in. You know? But she's such an obvious suspect. I just don't understand where she was all that time if she wasn't killing him. Maybe she was blackmailed into killing him by by S. Young. Young. Now, if Inha is the killer, she may never have speak, spoken to the rescue team. She claims she recorded the conversation. Oh, but the recording's not working anyway. But um, uh, she, you know, she claimed to have spoken to the rescue team, but she may not have spoken to them at all. She may have just wanted the correct profile data on everybody. She young grown, looking pale. But then we spoke to the rescue team later and they didn't they didn't deny having speak or spoken to Inha. So that seems like a, a, a problem. It's, it seems like maybe Inha was telling the truth on that. There are no signs of struggle or wounds other than the head wound. Kia Sung should have been facing the door when he was attacked in surprise. Kaysen was ambushed before he had time to react. He was hit on the back of the head with a mop, then died with his head struck when his head struck the pillar. 
The attacker dragged him into the storage area. Then they leaned Hyesung's body against the wall and disappeared. When and why did Hyesung go to the restroom? Why did Hyesung turn his back on his attacker? He trusted them, maybe. Or he didn't know they were there. Where did the attacker come from? When did the attacker assault Hyesung? Where is the attacker hiding right now? We should look around. Let's let's walk around and search. These confusing thoughts made Do Yun's head pound. What was the most painful was the loss of Hyesung. Sung. Do Yun groaned as the shards of shattered memories pricked at him like thorns. Your sanity is like your hit points. You don't want to keep your hit points too high because you need you need to accomplish things and push forward. But you don't want it to drop to zero. So like if if you don't if you don't if you don't do anything, your hit points will drop to zero and you'll lose. Let's look around. Yes, absolutely. Something wrong, you young? They all gathered in one place nervously, exchanging glances. Maybe they began to suspect one another. In this situation, what to do with each survivor's alibi? Need to go over each at least once. Yes, definitely. But uh, first, we should search. All eyes were on to you. 적어도 언제 그랬는지 알아볼 피 우리 해성이가 분장실에 가고 각자 뭘 했는지 조금. A heavy silence filled the corridor. 도윤이 말. Yes, there we go. 우리 중에 있다는 거요? 누나 괜찮겠어요? 괜찮을 리가 없잖아. 그렇지만 막연한 상태라도 불안한 거야. 뜯어보면 절대 우리일 수 없다는 결론이 나올지도 몰라. 그 편은 더 좋겠다고 생각하는 거야. Yes, there we go. 그럼 나도 언니랑 한도윤 말에 찬성이야. Nice. 머리 터지겠다고. 좀 따져나 보자. Yeah, we'll go along with you. 서로한테 의심 같은 거 갖기 싫으니까. It was agreed that they should check their whereabouts before the attack. 도윤이 오고 해성이를 만나러 갔어요. 중간에 진동이 있었고. Right, I remember that. 분장실에서 설득하다 실패하고 돌아왔죠. 시간은 잘 기억이 안 나요. 온 다음에 서해성이 파이팅 불렀잖아. 그 직전으로 보면 되겠지. He went to the dressing room after Do Yun. Then a tremor came. After he failed to persuade his son, he came back to group with the other. Right, he did send a message to Inha after that. <coughs> and where were you gone for all that time? You were gone for a really long time, Inha. Yeah, you really did, apparently. And then, wait. Right, I remember that. But wasn't she gone for a long time before Sale left? Five minutes? How long is this corridor? <laughs> Soon after Anha left for the dressing room, a tremor occurred. It wasn't soon after though. We had like a whole long conversation. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. 
상황이 꼬여서인지 갑자기 과업이 왔어. 도윤이랑 얘기하다가 Why didn't she disappear at that time? 깜짝 놀랐어. Right, she could have a fake panic attack. 미안. 가라앉히려다가 방법은 사람마다 조금씩 달라서 누나가 없는 걸 보고 전화를 했었죠. 연결 안 되던 중에 사람들이 다시 돌아왔고요. 이나, 세일이, 영희 누나, 전부. 그럼 정확한 시간은 내가 전화 건 시간을 보면 될 거야. Perfect. Julia's whereabouts due to her hyperventilation. She was catching her breath in front of the door to the central corridor. Though Yoon had a rough picture of everyone's whereabouts, if they talked a little more, they would be able to get their timeline straight. Though Yoon continued again, going over their recent conversation and said, No! See y'all next time. Please like and subscribe.